Good evening, Kardec Radio listeners. My name is Teresa Castro, and this is the 6 p.m. daily prayer program of Kardec Radio. We welcome all incarnates, discarnates, those listening on demand, those who are here live with us today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This evening, our message before we have our daily prayer is from the book Endearing Gems by Francisco Candido Xavier. It is translated and compiled by Jasara Korngold and Marie Levinson. And the message is called Listening to Chico Xavier, page 80. So this is excerpted from the book Chico Xavier, Dos Hippies Os Problemas do Mundo, News of the Giel, Monthly Bulletin, November 1995. Hello, Betsy. I want to apologize for saying your name incorrectly. Welcome. So nice to have you here. So, um, listen, listening to Chico Xavier. So this is, he was being interviewed, and it was posted in the monthly um, bulletin of the News of the Giel, G-E-A-L. And I just want to mention, friends, that this book, Endearing Gems, by Francisco Candido Xavier, that was compiled, translated, and compiled by Jasara Korngold and Marie Levinson, I was recently told that this book is no longer in print. So it's um, very nice that we can share it here with other people. Hello, John DeRosa. Welcome, welcome. Nice to see you here with us. So let us begin. This is um, someone interviewing uh, Chico. And the question they ask, how does the spiritist doctrine justify the deaths by thousands caused by wars, floods, and from all types of catastrophe? And Chico answers, they are expiations that we acquire collectively according to our karmic, karmic debts. Sometimes we undertake destructive moves against a community or toward an individuals. Sometimes we do so in groups. At the propitious time and already more mature, we reincarnate in order to pay up our debts. Congregating in large groups, where one is an accomplice with the other in the same fault, because the law of God is the law of God, composed of justice and mercy. That's the message. And again, I just want to remind us that this was in November of 1995, and here we are 25 years later, and in the middle of this pandemic, or I don't know, the middle, the beginning, the end, I, wherever we are, we are um, certainly as a collective feeling this worldwide. I think it's a good moment to take a pause and just, you know, remember these words um, because they are so in line with what we study in Spiritism, action and reaction. There's a whole book written by uh, Andre Louise, psychographed by Chico, called Action and Reaction. And this is basically what he's talking about in this message, that nothing is by chance, nothing's by mistake, and that we need not point fingers at anybody. Um, and as we know, in, as we study the Spiritist doctrine, that as Spiritists, it's our duty to be a part of the solution, and um, for the healing of the world. Um, so, you know, let us think about that when we want to accuse another country or a government official or a group of people. Let us remember um, what is our duty and how even just by mere thinking positive thoughts, we are contributing to the solution. So... It's a tall order, but it is one that we will remember, that we were told we were giving all the resources that we need. So we are capable. Um, no, you know, by ourselves, one individual person is not going to change the world, but as we affect one another, we can co collectively um, add beauty to the world. 
It's important to remember that as we take one step toward the good spirits, toward health, life, um, elevating our thoughts, those, that goodness, the higher spirits, Jesus, Mother Mary, they take a thousand steps towards us. So we can do our part. I think it's a good message for us uh, where we are in the world right now and what's happening with all the uh, racial tension and disharmony and protest and pandemic and on and on and on and on. But let us remember we can start right in our own homes, that that's where it needs to begin. And rightly so, we're being asked to stay at home. <laughs> so let us now head off into our daily prayer with this in mind. So we center ourselves and allow the body and mind to relax and let us absorb this beautiful message. And we remember to thank our eternal heavenly Mother, Father, God for a sacred life and the opportunity that we may progress and also to pay up our debts as we're so told in the message. We take this opportunity to also thank all the team at Kardec Radio who work so hard to allow this platform to be possible for all of us, that we can continue to grow collectively We also take this opportunity to open our hearts and remember those in most need. No matter what their ills, what they suffer from. We pray that they may feel, even for one moment, a sense of hope and renewal. We pray for courage and inspiration to do the next right thing so we may participate in the solution for world peace. We thank our benefactors, guardian angels, and our families for the ongoing support, love, and protection and ever guidance. And we ask for their ongoing protection. Let us go forth in our week, keeping our doctrine close at hand and exemplifying what the doctrine is, remembering in the world, in the words of a great saint that help other people and show them the way using words only when we have to. With that in mind, with all respect, humility, and gratitude, we humbly ask permission to close this session, and so be it. Thank you all for attending, and I remind you to check out the Kardec Radio Facebook page for all the beautiful programs that are offered 24-7 daily because Kardec Radio is here to nourish our souls. God bless. Thank you for being with me this evening, and I look forward to seeing you next Sunday at 6 p.m.